Let me begin by thanking you very much for this kind invitation to your celebration in Darwad of the Pavati Fellowship Scheme. It's an absolutely wonderful idea to have this celebration. Wonderful that you have so many people attending. And I'm just sad and frustrated that those people attending do not include me. In fact, my inability to attend is based more on proximity than distance, as it happens a direct clash with your meeting in Darwad is a conference in Trivandrum, for which I'm one of the co-organizers and a speaker, so it prevents me being in Darwad, but I wish you well for your meeting. The Avati Fellowship Scheme is based at Sydney Sussex College, and the college, of course, forms the heart of social interactions for Pavati Fellows and many of their intellectual engagements. But it's important to bear in mind that there's an entire other side to Cambridge. It's not just historic college buildings, but it's leading experimental facilities of a kind that we need to maintain our status as a leading university. So we're standing here now at the West Cambridge site of the university, in front of the Department of Materials Science. On this same site, and increasingly more so as time goes by, science and technology departments of the university are based. And I think we should start by stepping into the department building. So welcome to first year teaching laboratory in the Department of Material Science. I thought there'd be nowhere better for you to see what a working university is up to. Uh, this is a class on ferroelectric and magnetoelectric materials. And material science is one of the subjects, departments involved with the Pravati Fellowship Scheme. I'm a member of the Material Science Department, but I'm also head of the School of Physical Sciences. And that means my domain includes the Department of Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics, all of which are involved with the Pravati Fellowship Scheme. It's interesting to see in our classes here, we have a very international mix. If you've gone a few years back, either as an undergraduate in such a class or as a postgraduate student doing teaching in such a class, you might have found people like Homi Baba, father of the Indian nuclear program, or Dr. Sarabhai, father of the Indian space program, and this international outlook continues today. So I thought you'd be interested to see the class in action, and next we'll move to a laboratory. So here we are in a thin film deposition lab. The point of coming here is to say, if we're going to engage in international exchange programs, we have to engage best with best. I hope that DC Faculty himself will be very pleased with how the scheme is working out. For he who is in Cambridge, his mathematical performance was stellar, the Wrangler. So Cambridge is very proud of him. I hope he would be just a little bit proud of us. Cambridge Mathematics this year was very pleased to have a fields medalist in mathematics. Another nice aspect of that story is the medalist, Dr. Burkhardt, uh, was in fact a refugee to the UK as a teenager coming from uh, Kurdistan. So uh, we were very pleased with that. It was good news for us and obviously good news for him. Looking at the output from the Pavani Fellowship Scheme, you can see a long list of publications and brilliant interactions. So I think there's absolutely so much to celebrate. Built on the highest quality engagement from bringing people into real 